Hello, hello everyone. Guess what we're going to make today. Someone asked me if I could show them how I make cucumber kimchi. And I am going to show you. It's very easy to do. These are called Lebanese cucumbers. They're just very small cucumbers. They're not like regular cucumbers. They have less seeds in it. So these are going to be perfect to make our kimchi cucumber. And we're going to cut these. And we're going to give them a little bit of salt. Now, I don't discard the little tip. I'm not sure if you can see this. I keep even the tip on it. Make sure they're nice and washed. Now you could cut them this way. You could cut them in a slant. However way you want to cut them. You could cut them skinnier. You could cut them as thick as I'm doing. There we go. Very simple. It really takes like a few minutes to make this. Now you could eat this fresh or you can ferment it. That's really up to you. I know a lot of people just eat it fresh. I prefer it gets fermented. But when there's something good in the house, it never lasts long enough. Okay, we're going to start off just adding some salt to my cucumbers as I do it. I use about maybe a tablespoon of salt. The magic tablespoon. And what this is going to do is it's going to start pulling water out of the cucumber. Something very delicious to enjoy as a snack. Again, to eat with rice. The magic food. Rice is the magic food. have as a side dish really really good go. I have a lot more of these but I'm gonna leave some for my husband in case he wants to make a tomato salad and that's it I'm not gonna use my hands because I do not want to salt my hands but you're gonna give these a good mix and the salt is gonna start pulling out some water Say about a tablespoon of salt and you're gonna see way at the bottom there's gonna be a little puddle of water because the salt will start pulling the water out of the uh, cucumbers you can see they're all getting nice and wet there we go Every once in a while just check it and you're gonna see it's already starting you're gonna see it it's gonna start losing its moisture so while these are sitting we will make our mixture this is gonna be perfect okay I'm gonna get another bowl and I'm gonna push this aside I have a little bit of onion that I used yesterday. See what I'm talking about? I think I showed you this in um, my other video. This is a little something my sister got me. It's a whole bunch of uh, silicone veggie savers. And it's perfect. When you cut an onion and you're not using all of it, you just place it on top, pop it in. I'm promoting this because I love them, not because I'm getting paid for these. I've got the one for avocado. Um, the ones for tomatoes for eggplant so just a good thing to have at home rather than having to use plastic wrap guys and these will last a long long time okay so now we're gonna cut some onion and I am gonna cut onion this way I want them nice and long you could dice your onion if you want that's really up to you how much onion you want again that's up to you also remember when you're making food it's what you desire 
I could tell you what I'm putting in mine, but you could change yours up completely different. Okay. All right. This is fantastic. Okay. I don't usually measure, but I'll give you an idea what I do. Um, garlic, again, as much garlic as you like. My garlic, can you tell springs around the corner? All my garlic is either drying up or they're going into sprout, but I'm going to use them anyhow. Usually, once that tip is popping out, it's a little more bitter, but I really don't care. It still tastes like garlic. So I'm just going to squish a little bit of garlic. Remember, how much garlic is really up to you. I like garlic, but if I have to smell like garlic all day long, I'd rather not. Okay. So we're going to start off with some maple and then add as we need. So I'm going to put one, two, three tablespoons of maple. Remember, how sweet you want it is really up to you. We're going to put some sesame oil. I'm going to put one... Two, yeah, we're going to do three. Three sesame oil. If I need more, I will add more later. We're going to use red pepper powder. This is what I usually use when I make kimchi. And we're going to use about, let me measure this for you. I mean, I really don't need to measure this because it really is up to you. You could always add at the end. If you want more, look at that. Was I not right? About a tablespoon, yeah. I'm using about a tablespoon of that. We're going to use some, about a tablespoon of sesame seeds. We're going Asian, of course. And we're going to add, okay. I did that of course I did that okay I buy this it's chili powder I buy this at my Asian market and since it's already out I had this in another bag so it's not the end of the world I do have that in another bag but somehow it's coming off the sides okay now if I need more chili I will use it I do want to add some flakes taste it I shouldn't be putting anything in my mouth because I am doing a fast. Not a no food fast, but we're doing an intermittent fast. Just two meals for Connie. Okay, so a little bit of salt, just a little bit because I do want to add some soy sauce to this. I want to add some vinegar. It's in a vinegar jar, but I make this vinegar. Okay, we're going to put one two for now and if i want more i will add it oh yes i'm ginger okay i'm gonna take some of that skin off we're gonna add just a little bit of ginger i like to taste my ginger under my teeth so I will grate it in chunkier bits. Just cut that off. It would have been faster if I just did it by hand. bit of fresh ginger okay so I have a little bit of horseradish that I dried up and I'm gonna put a little bit in there but remember if you don't like stuff like this you don't have to put it in but I will grate some all right let's try this Perfect. 
and that's something also you can do if you buy horseradish and if you have way too much like just dry it up so this way when you need it all you have to do is grate some in okay let me just hold it this way and you've got horseradish at your fingertips it up. I'm using tamari actually, not soy. But you can use soy if you want. We're going to do one, two, here we go. You can use chili flakes or you can use fresh hot pepper trust me everything's gonna get cooked with that vinegar and that salt mm. I'm gonna just break it up a little more seeds and all mm. nice and hot but not hot hot I don't want to make it too hot because then Erica's not going to eat it. Some chili flakes. Now, if you don't like heat, don't put heat, guys. Very simple. This is perfect. Okay, I'm not going to add extra salt in here. It could use a little extra salt, but I'm not going to rinse my cucumbers. So I am going to use whatever salt that's on the cucumbers not rinse it out and I'm gonna mix everything in here and then we're gonna jar this but that's how easy it is now if you want to uh, if you want to add other ingredients go ahead do it but this is how if you don't want to put onions you want to put green onions you can do that too that's gonna make it look even prettier um, you can if you want to make a lot of jars you could either do just cucumbers you could even add a little bit of cabbage and the cabbage is going to wilt nice. Like I said, you can add whatever ingredients you want. You can stretch your cucumber if you don't have enough. Maybe some nice red peppers for contrasting color. You can add uh, maybe cubes of cabbage, cabbage leaves. That's going to be nice also. And if you don't want to do cubes, maybe you could do ribbons. That's going to just make everything so much better. It really is up to you. You have to be the creative person. It's your kitchen, your food. Okay, so I'm going to see you in a little bit once my cucumbers lost some of that water and uh, we're going to mix everything together and put it in a jar. All right, guys, I'll see you in a little bit. You know what? I have a little bit of lime from yesterday's tacos and I'm going to squeeze. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some cilantro, guys. This I have it and I love cilantro. Okay. This is going to be delicious. Like I said, you can eat this fresh. But if you put it in the fridge, like if you make it in the morning, it's better because it picks up all these great flavors. I wouldn't make it fresh like right when you're having dinner. I would make it fresh, like either make it in the morning and then serve it at dinner or make it today and serve it tomorrow. That's called fresh cucumber kimchi. But if you want to age this, you can. Just let it sit on your counter and just let it let it age. All right. So I'll see you in a little bit, guys. You know what? Before I go on to the show, remember I told you that I um, I fermented. Let me zoom out. Why am I so close to your face? I am so sorry, guys. All right. Remember what I told you? I fermented Asian string beans. I'm going to show you which ones these are. I'm sure some of you have already seen this or have eaten them. And these are the lids that I also put a link if you're interested. Uh, I'll tell you what I do use those for. Give me a second. Okay. I don't use the silicone ones for wet food, okay? Let me just wash my hands. 
I don't use this for wet food. I use this if I'm storing dry food, mostly for dry food. And this goes right in here. I have these that I could be used, reuse. I also use this, my hands are clean guys, in my jar, you see? Normally it would fit on top, but what I do is I push it in and it sits right underneath the mouth of my jar and it keeps all my vegetables when I'm fermenting down at the bottom and nothing sits on top where it's going to cause bacteria. When I need to take something, I just push it over to the side with something clean and I always keep it there, always floating on top. And that's going to always keep your fermented food safe. Otherwise, if your vegetables come up and touch the surface, there's a chance of you contaminating the rest of it. This is what I use it for. There's these glass things that you can buy that sits right into the mouth of the jar and keeps your vegetables down. But I didn't have any of those. And I remembered I had these. And I says, you know what, that's going to work just as good because rather than letting it sit on top of the jar, I push it in and it's going to hold everything down. But these are the Asian vegetables that are now fermented and sitting in my fridge. Look how long they are. Look how long they are. I put them in whole. See how long they are? Look how long the string bean is. <laughs> we love it. I either put it, if I'm making... A toast or a sandwich I'll take one and put it just the way you see it in my sandwich or you can take them toss them cut them up maybe a bit toss them with a little bit of uh, balsamic vinegar you could crush some garlic um, taste it for salt before you add salt don't forget these are all salted so this is my string bean fermented vegetables and I make them I keep them whole. I don't cut them up. It just looks prettier and it stacks great in my jar. And this one, remember, it's just salt, garlic, and ginger. I use a regular lid on top and then it goes into the refrigerator once it is fermented. Okay, here's my cucumber and it's losing all kinds of water as you can see. And I'm going to wait a little longer because if I don't remove some of this water, I'm going to have a huge broth and we don't want that. We have enough liquids now with that mixture I made. I don't need extra water. I don't want to dilute the flavors. I want to keep those flavors attached to the cucumber. So I'm going to wait a little longer and then I'm going to come back and show you when I toss this up. And hopefully by then it'll be noon and I can have a bite of this deliciousness. So I'll see you in a bit, guys. Here's my mixture. And we're gonna take these and put them right in there. Like I said, I am not going to wash them. My mixture wasn't that salty, so leaving the salt on the cucumber is okay for me. Now, cucumbers is one of the vegetables that need the least amount of time really to ferment. So, leaving them out on the counter for one day. Mm, my God, this is going to be very good. So, leaving them on the counter for one day is going to do the trick for these. Okay, let me try one because... Mm, Mmm, the crunch, my God, they're so good. This is a must to make, guys. So I am going to start with my bigger jar. And I'm going to put all the cucumbers in first. They should fit in one jar. So these, like I said, if you want to ferment them, you will leave these on the counter. Oh my god, they're so good. See, that's a problem. When you make good stuff like this, it's hard to stop. Okay, so I'm going to push them down. So if you want to ferment them, you will leave them on the counter for one day. And then, of course, you will refrigerate them, guys. And if you want to eat them fresh, I say put them in the fridge and serve them either for dinner like without fermenting, you could serve them for uh, for dinner. 
but do make them in the morning this way they have all the flavor that has to be picked up I'm trying to get these in so i could get all the cucumbers in one jar yeah and now i'm gonna put the liquid in there and whatever didn't fit in the jar is gonna go in my belly There we go. And that's how you make fermented cucumbers, guys. There we go. Now, one day is more than enough for cucumbers. If you're doing like a kimchi, then I would say three days plus. If you're doing like my, um, my cauliflower, I did that for five days. String beans, I also did for five days. Uh, my beets, I did for seven days, guys. But uh, cucumbers, one day is more than enough. So I'm going to leave the whatever is left over and pop that in my mouth. And maybe sneak one more in there. There we go. And we've got delicious cucumber kimchi, guys. How easy was this? Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Remember, whatever ingredients I use, you don't have to use the same ingredients. You could just use what you like and cucumbers one day only and they're good to go remember once they're fermented put them in the fridge and enjoy your beautiful kimchi cucumbers so i'm gonna say i love you guys and i'm gonna see you in my next video mm, very good for more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends.